Hi guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you're new. So I today wanted to share an experience I had with a certain piercing that I got. I got my nipple pierced. I am going to share with you the process, the pain, aftercare, questions, and a little jewelry haul. The thing that I like about this piercing is the fact that it's kind of like my little secret. No one really knows about it. Well, I mean, now you know, but still, like, people don't really know. And then it's something that's super sexy with the story a little bit. So my friend was getting hers done. She lives in Alberta currently, and she came down here for vacation to see her family and friends. And before she left, she was like, hey, she's like, I'm going to get my nipple pierced. You should come. I was like, yeah, I'll come. Like, I'll come support you and everything. I got it done for me, not my boyfriend, not my friend, nothing like that. It was just a lot easier going with someone that also wanted to get it done. So you're probably thinking, well, but why? Like, why? Why not? Is my answer. Why not? We are walking to the place. And I was very, 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 very nervous. I was like, we, we can back out, girl. Like, I, it's okay. Like, we can back out. She's like, no. I was like, okay. Let's just do this. Thing. We walk into the place and I was so nervous. I was like, oh, wait. I was like, I need, I need a second. So I browsed around and as soon as we came in, this guy was like, hey, like, do you need any help? And we're like, hey, no, I'm okay. And then we were like wandering for a little bit, totally looking like deer in headlights. And he came back over and he was like, you seem like you have some questions. I was like, okay. I was like, we are thinking about you know getting our nipple pierced and I had called earlier to see if there was a female piercer in that day and there was so that's why we went my friend wanted a female piercer so kind of talking to this guy I was like I don't want to tell you okay so I told him and he's like oh yeah sure no problem let me get so and so and I was like oh that was a lot easier than I thought. I don't know why I was so worried about telling him what I wanted. Also before this, I knew for about two weeks that we were going to do this. I had done so much research. I researched different places. I researched, which maybe I shouldn't have, people's experiences with pain and things like that. My main concern was really the pain. I was like, oh god, like is this, like am I gonna die? Like am I, am I gonna pass out and die and die? I was definitely very, very anxious and my adrenaline was going. So from the time that we signed the papers to leaving the building, it was probably 20 minutes for the two of us. We signed the papers and then she went first and it honestly took under five minutes I think by the time they cleaned it and pierced it. She asked us what side, she asked us how we wanted it. You could get it horizontally, vertically, or diagonally. We got ours both horizontally, that's usually like the classic way to get it. She cleaned the nip and around the nip and I told her that I wanted it done horizontally. I also asked her what gauge size they were using. I think that's important. Um, standard is 14 gauge, so I just wanted to make sure that I was getting a 14 gauge because most jewelry is 14 gauge. And then she measures it. She asks you to stand straight with your head up and she puts two little dots on the side and you look at it and you say yay or nay. I'm sure people have some questions about like how they get your nipple hard essentially. So when they are cleaning, they're also kind of like tugging and rotating and things like that just because they need to clean the entire area. So with that, the nip's already hard. I lay down and my friend held my hand and I let out an, oh my God. It was like a six, six and a half out of 10. 
it was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. For me personally, my belly button hurt a lot more than my nipple did. And again, like my, I was super, super anxious. My adrenaline was pumping. So mine didn't really start to hurt until like a half an hour later. I was like, ow, ow. And then she went through the care process. You can buy product at any place that you go to they should have their own product there so I did end up buying the mild soap but they also gave you a free little baggie of salt I guess I should have brought that here but I didn't one thing that I think is important is knowing what bar length you got put in I knew that everyone's nipples are different. Some people have little nipples, some people have larger nipples, so you need to know the size that you're getting. If it's too long, it can get caught, and if it's too small, it will not be able to, like, breathe, and it will just be squished, you know? Unfortunately, I had to ask my piercer, hey, what size did you give me? So I know what size to get when I buy jewelry. And currently I have 9 sixteenths in and once I'm able to change it, I will go down a level, which I think is 3 eighths I can go down to. So when they pierce your nipple, they do go one size up for swelling. So now healing process for me, I'm still healing obviously I've only had it for six weeks it's not crusty anymore it hasn't been crusty since the first week um, I did bleed more than my friend did so after I got it pierced she gave me some gauze because I was bleeding so I put the gauze in and it was just like really gross and nasty so I ended up going back about three hours later and just getting them to clean it up for me. The second day I didn't bleed, the third day there was a little bit of blood, and then I think like the fifth day was some crusting and some blood. Um, I haven't, I think I've crusted once since then. I also did have bruising on both sides of the nipple. Um, probably for the first week and my friend did as well. I don't, I don't really know. If you have any other questions about my personal experience, ask them in the description box, but I'm gonna move on to, um, some questions now. I think one of the main questions is about breastfeeding for women. You're still able to breastfeed, it's not any different. I would personally suggest taking the jewelry out and breastfeeding and then putting your jewelry back in so that your baby doesn't swallow your jewelry. Where should I have my nipples pierced? Should be literally right through the nipple, not the areola, it should be right through the nipple. And you can again have it done horizontally, diagonally, or vertically. The most common is horizontally. What can I expect in terms of nipple piercing pain? Everyone is different. There are a lot of nerve endings in your nipples. When I read online, a lot of people said it was really, really painful. But I think for me, because I read a lot of reviews, it made me think it was going to be a lot worse than it really was, you know? In my personal opinion, my belly button hurt more than my nipple. Can I have my nipples pierced if they're inverted or unusually shaped? If you have a nipple, you can get it pierced. It doesn't matter if it's inverted or not. It might take a little bit more time, but you can still get them pierced. So I have to ask to have my nipples pierced at a certain gauge, needle, and starter jewelry. So all starter jewelry is standard. They give you their own. Most places use a 14 gauge. That is the most universal and most common. So when you go jewelry shopping, 14 is standard. Um, I personally asked my piercer, is this a 14 gauge that you're using? Now, if you get your nipple pierced at a 14 gauge, but then you get a 16 gauge jewelry later on, just remember that a 16 gauge is smaller than a 14 gauge. So if you ever want to go back to the standard gauge, you're, you might have to stretch out your nipple hole again. What's the best style for starter nipple piercing jewelry? 
a bar. A bar is the easiest. It's a horizontal straight line. So it's just going to go right through. There's not going to be any curves or swerves to your nipple. If you think about it, if you get a curved bar, that means that when you have to put in that jewelry, you need to make sure it's curving in properly. And I feel like, especially for the first times that we're changing our piercings, it's a little nerve wracking. It's a little scary. So I feel like the straight bar is just straight forward rather than having to curl it. What's the best nipple piercing aftercare regimen? Every place is different, but every place always will recommend either a mild soap or a sea salt concoction. So I just purchased the mild soap from the piercing place I went to, and then they also gave me a little baggie of large salt. Um, it's not just any salt though, it's a specific kind of salt, so don't just be using like table salt, that's not what it is. And I clean mine um, one to two times a day usually. I always clean it in the shower with the mild soap because that's easy. And then at night I do my salt and I put it in a little jar and I wait for it to dissolve and I lean over and I stick my nipple in there and then I lean back up and then I leave it there for five minutes. What's the typical nipple piercing healing time? Again, literally every article I read, every piercer says something totally different. I've heard it can take five months to a year. When will it be safe to take the nipple piercing for a test drive in the bedroom? Again, even my partner, I've had it done for six weeks. I do not let him put his mouth on it still because mouths are fucking disgusting and they're filled with bacteria and I'm still healing. Although I'm not crusting, I'm not bleeding, I'm not dribbling, I'm still healing. So you need to wait until it's healed or you can still risk infection. So those are all the questions. Um, if you have any more questions, let me know. So now I'm just going to get on to the haul. I don't know why, but I only have one nipple pierce and I have so much jewelry already. It just kind of happened. <laughs> so these two are from New Steel Body Jewelry. It's just a standard bar, but the ends have some sparkly gems on them. This is a 14 gauge. And then the one that I really want to change it to, blingy and so, so pretty. This one is also 14 gauge and this one is the actual size of my nipple that I should be going down to. It can be easily undone so that's a little concerning. Okay and then the next ones are from Etsy. So I have these three right here. They are all the same, just different color. I got rose gold, silver, and gold. Triangles are a little larger than I thought they were going to be. These one are 10 millimeter, which is the size I should be going down to once my nipple heals. Nipple shield, it's called. So this one has a bar, but there is a little circle around it. The circle goes around your nipple and then the bar goes through. Now th this bar is a lot longer in the back just because of the jewelry. So we got that one in silver and rose gold. Now this one I also really, really, really like, but these are very long for me personally. I don't know, that's all. I just don't want it getting caught on anything. Overall, I really, really like it. If you do have any other questions, let me know. I will leave all the jewelry um, down below. Okay, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Toodles!